Today we have two things going on guys. First, I'm gonna start out with opening up my super magical chest with my son that I got from the quests and then I have a hog rider motorcycle deck for you guys. Let's get into this right now. What is up my friends? My name is Echo Drumi and today I have Carter on the channel because I have a super magical chest that we unlocked here from the quests and uh, Carter and I are excited to open this one up. Carter, why don't you say hi to everybody? Hi kids. Hi kids, alright. So, what do you think we're going to get out of the super magical chest today? Uh, the miner. Uh, he says the miner. I hope so, because that's what I need. Let's go into it, Carter. Let's open it up and see what we can grab. Super magical chest. Oh, wow, 6,600 gold. What do we got? Oh boy. Bowler. Goblin Hut. Lion Hut. Yep. Oh, we have a legendary card. A P.E.K.K.A. I don't use the P.E.K.K.A. What is this card going to be? It's called Rhyme. Okay. <gasps> it's a princess. That's still a great card. Getting a legendary card out of a Super Magical. Unfortunately, I got P.E.K.K.A.s and not Golem. But that was a good one. Carter, why don't we say bye to everybody? Our next one is a bye. golden chest. Say bye. Bye. I'll see you in a minute, guys. And I guess it's about time we get into the deck, guys. Here we go, right here. 3.0 Elixir Hog Mortar deck. Lots of support with those swarming troops in the minion horde, the goblin gang, and those bats. You have that ice golem that could be used for some tanking, zap, and log to clear the way for that mortar. This deck is brought to us from Elite Nation by Lord Stark, currently at 4752 cups and a max all time of 5253. He shared. Four replays with us today, all against different deck archetypes. And we're starting out right here with a grand challenge where he was going against log bait. Let's get into it right here. As you can see, Lord Stark is on the bottom. He's got the hog and that mortar in his starting hand. Let's see how he plays this one right here, guys. Anticipation builds along with the elixir. He's ready to drop that mortar right on that left hand lane. And the, uh, Opponent nicely plays his knight there to distract the mortar. Good play by him. Log coming in right here, taking out that gang, or at least the majority of it. And the knight's now pushing his tower. He's got his bats, which are going to do some nice work and take out that knight. He's got the hog coming in under the bats. The opponent has that princess, but uses the tornado to pull that hog onto the king's tower, activating it. Now, a great thing about this deck right here, guys, is... When that King's Tower is activated, it doesn't affect a Mortar attacking the tower whatsoever. So you can still get those Mortar Strikes on the tower with no issues at all, which is a pretty sweet thing. Mortar again is being distracted by that Knight. Now for my, myself, I'm not a Mortar player. I tried doing the Hog thing for a while, but I realized... I'm not much of a hog player either. I'm more of a beatdown player, so I use Golem on the regular. And what I usually find when I'm playing against Mortar decks is either I can build up an Elixir Advantage where, you know, I can really storm the Mortar and push the tower, or I just, they cycle through that Mortar so quickly that they keep pounding on my tower one or two hits at a time, and they use it defensively to keep my Golem from getting that push. So Mortar is actually something very difficult for me to play against as a Golem player, Frustrating at times. He plays his princess, or the opponent plays the princess on our mortar, which is going to uh, stop it in his tracks. But then the mortar is going to get a shot off right here, taking out the princess. We got the ice golem blocking right here. Goblin gang in to clear up the opponent's goblin gang, and the mortar uh, does not take out the rest of that gang. So as we're looking at it right here, we have a, a short lead, a small lead on that left-hand tower. But here we go, the hog not even getting a strike on the tower. The opponent's playing that tornado very well. Mortar in yet again. Is the mortar going to target the princess? No, it's going to target that knight. And the goblin gang is going to go in there and push. But the log is there. Nicely played. Goblin gang on top of the princess. And a zap on top of the goblins on the tower. I really do like this deck a lot, guys, for two reasons. One, you have two ways to take down the tower, and two, it's fast cycle. I love fast cycle decks, at least the concepts of a fast cycle deck. I do sometimes struggle actually using them just because my practice isn't there. Another issue that I sometimes will have are card levels. Obviously, you spend time asking for upgrades as a free-to-play player, which I'm not, but I haven't spent that much on the game. But, you know, if you're a free-to-play player, you, you ask for donations on certain troops, and you really upgrade 
a specific set of troops and then to go and switch your gameplay up and do something completely different you know you don't have the troop levels to do as well as you'd like so we do have a uh, 500 hit point lead on that left hand tower from the opponent we're in overtime right now like i said this is grand challenge and he's playing against miguel from scorpions trademark the Ice Golem is in, tanking for the Mortar. Mortar's going to work on those Spear Gobs, and our Goblin Gang took out the Goblin Barrel on our right-hand tower. Pretty good battle right here, guys. Uh, no one is willing to just let this one go, obviously. It would be silly if you were. The Minion Horde is being played, I believe, for the first time right there, guys. A Log is in on that Princess, and a couple of Minions are going to be making it near the tower, onto the tower for a little strike, not as much as you'd like to see. The Mortar played again on the left-hand lane. Bats are in, and we have the Ice Golem in as well. Log is in hand, going to take down that Princess, or is it? We're going to have to find out soon. The Log is going to go down on the Goblin Barrel, which is probably a smart play right there. Got to make sure. Oh, nice zap right there. Taking out the gang. Another shot on that tower, guys. The Mortar is so strong. Here comes the push. Distracting all of those. Nice play with the hog right there. Keeping the princess from taking out the minion horde. Really protecting his five elixir troop. Or card, I should say. Because it's multiple troops. And uh, here we go. Opponents going with the rocket and the gob barrel. Didn't trick him though. He's got the log right on the heads of the goblin barrel. And all he needs is one or two shots from the mortar. We'll take a mortar shot and a hog shot. That would be fantastic. There's the hog shot right there, guys. It's a zap and a log away from a victory right here. There's the zap. And here comes the log taking down everything in its path. Great game right there for Lord Stark against log bait. We have three more, like I said. The next one we have right here is against uh, the Mega Knight. And this guy's from Legion Esports. Let's see how he goes. So we have WASD, WASD. I love that name. For those of you who don't know, if you're a PC gamer, that's how you control your uh, your players. It's up, down, left, and right on the keyboard. Little uh, PC knowledge right there. So love that name right there from the Legion Esports player. Here's the Mortar being played right there as a defensive structure. Really nicely done. I like how he plays it up high as well because if it does survive, it can get a shot or two in the tower. And it did get one shot in the tower, but the opponent's hog got a shot in that tower as well. We're again in Grand Challenge right here. Mega Knight's played right on top of our hog. But the Ice Golem is going to distract him. Slow him down. Our hog is getting two shots. Three shots on the tower right there, guys. Really beating down that left-hand tower. Nice start. Bats on top of the... Mega Knight and uh, the <laughs> Ice Golem in to slow things down and distract. I did a video on a Mega Knight deck the other day, and as I watched it back as it was uploaded, I, s I called it the Mega Prince too many times to be comfortable. Uh, too much to edit out after it was already uploaded, so it is what it is. Um, funny, you know, whatever. Brain fart, I guess, guys. We got the Goblin Gang pushing, we got the Hog in behind. I love that you have multiple ways to push with this deck, guys. It makes it so versatile. We have the Hog and a Spear Goblin on the tower. Gonna take it down to close to it. 31 hit points left in that left-hand tower. But we have a big push coming in right here. The Mortar's played again, so that Hog is distracted, like I said. Again, Bats in, beating on that Hog. There goes that tower, and now that Mortar can sit there and play a little bit of defense for a few moments. I'm loving how this deck is played. Lord Stark really does it well. 3.0 Elixir. You know, if you don't use the Minion Horde too often, because it's your most expensive troop in the deck, you're really going to be okay. Now, a lot of times you'll see a Mortar deck and it has the Rocket in it. This does not have a heavy spell. You don't have a Poison, a Fireball, a Rocket, or a Lightning. So, um, you know, you can't rely on getting a tower down to around 500 hit points and then taking it out with your Rocket. You have to actually be able to do the work with your cards and with no spells. Minion Horde right here being played on top of the Mega Knight. The opponent uses the poison, but not before the Mega Knight goes down. Really well played right there. The Mortar is out of range for that Hog Rider. So the Hog Rider does make it to the tower. Nice job with that Log right there. Taking out that Inferno Dragon. 30 seconds left in the battle. Can Lord Stark hold off against WASD? And bring home the victory. 
We're going to find out right now, guys. We have the, uh, the Mortar, which is distracting that hog. He plays his Goblin Gang inside of the Poison just to try and slow him down. But the opponent did Zap and Poison. So those Goblin Gang uh, troops went down quickly. But with seven, six seconds left, this battle is over, my friends. WASD from Legion Esports goes down to Lord Stark from Elite Nation. Two of four are down. We're going to jump into the next one right now. There was one replay that's up in here that I am going to not use, and that's it right there. So we got here, Ladder versus the Royal Giant, the dreaded Royal Giant. Okay, so he is playing a level lower than him right here, guys. It's worth noting. He's a level 13. His opponent's a level 12. Let's see what the card levels look like, though. Uh, so he does have a short advantage on the tower, being a level 13 versus a level 12. Looks like they have a level 13 Royal Giant. My guess would be they'd have level... 13 barbarians that's exactly what they have so as far as card levels go his hog is a level 10 um the commons coming out of his opponent right here are level 13 although his commons are level 13 as well as goblin gang his mortar and his bats but his hog rider his real kill card although the mortar is one of the kill cards as well is a level um is level 10 his minion horde is a level 12, so, um, you know, not fully maxed. I'm curious to see the Skarmie and the Goblin Gang from his opponent right here. See what those card levels look like. Time to build up some Elixir right here. Looks like the um, Royal Giant's going to be played by the opponent right here. Back far, nice and deep. Trying to build up a push behind that Royal Giant. Here we go, a mortar that's going to beat up on the RG and whatever starts to come in behind it as long as it's a ground troop. Goblin Gang is also a level 13. Nice log by the opponent, but also a nice log by Lord Stark. We have bats right there on top, going to tear apart that Royal Giant right there, guys. The Royal Giant does not even get a shot off of the tower. Now a counter push with the hog and the ice golem. Look at this hog getting work done. Two shots on that tower. How's he going to take this down? He's going to go with a defensive mortar right here. Trying to beat up on these barbarians. But look at this. Oh, he's going to go with that ice golem. It's going to be a smart play. Pulling the barbarians away from the mortar. So it's in the range of strike. Actually, it was out of the range of strike. I'm sorry. I thought they would, it would be able to strike right there. But I don't believe those barbarians got into the tower at all. Well played there, Lord Stark. I think a trick to this deck, guys, something that I struggle with, is playing your kill card or one of your two kill cards, the Mortar, as a defensive card. I'll often save them, hold on to them, trying to keep them so that I could use them and uh, and try and get the tower. But sometimes you got to play them on D. Here comes a Hog, Goblin Gang. They have level 9, <laughs> level 9, um, what are they? What is that? Skarmy, that's what it is. And that Royal Giant doing work on our tower right here. But here comes the Goblin Gang again. It's going to work on the opponent's Goblin Gang. He's waiting to drop something. Is it going to be the Mortar? Or is it going to be the Hog? The opponent's ready. was ready with those Barbarians. He's going deep. He's taking it slow. This is a ladder match again right now, guys. He knew that the Barbarians were incoming. There's the Mortar with a Zap as well. And the Log. Come on, get one more shot down here. There we go. All of them are cleared out right now, guys. And the uh, Royal Giant is going to be slowed down by the Mortar. Looks like he's going to have to use his log on the Skarmy coming in the opposite lane. How's he going to work on this Royal Giant right now? The Giant is going to target the Mortar. He's got the Minion Horde on top. Really well played. And the Minion Horde gets taken down by the opponent's fireball one strike in the tower he just needs a log or a zap and it's going to be game over and there it is with the extra gold bonus beautiful playing right there against a player that was lower in level but had all maxed out cards is at least everything that i could think of was maxed out and i have one more the last archetype lava hound deck playing on ladder let's see how lord stark does here again he's playing against the level 12 so again keep that in mind as a level 13 player himself Something that I like about these replays from Lord Stark, though, as a level 13 player, a max level player, he does not have maxed out cards. His Ice Golem is a level 9. His Hog Rider is a level 10. So it's not like he's a, he's OP, you know, he's not a fully maxed out card player. Goblin Gang is going to go in right there, slowing down a little bit. 
Bats being used to distract as well. Really smart play. Ice Golem, look at that defense right there, guys. Beautiful defense from Lord Stark on that incoming uh, Night Witch and the incoming Baby Dragon. There's no building in this deck for the opponent, guys, but they do have the Lava Hound and the Clone Spell. You don't see Clone Spell that often. A level 3 Lava Hound coming in. The Mortar is going to take one or two shots on that tower before the Mega Minion takes it down. That's two shots. Now the Mega Minion is going to be targeted by the tower. Is he going to just let that go? No, he's using the Hog. Pulling or kiting, I should say. That Mega Minion on the Hog is going to do work on that tower. He's got no counter. He didn't use his gang on it, guys. Wow. He let that Hog beat down the tower. We have Bats and a Minion Horde on top of that incoming Lava Hound. Beautifully done, and a late arrows by the opponent. <clears throat> Looks like he's playing against CBA POR. I don't know what that says, but that's who, he, that's who his opponent is right there. Mortar being played again. Baby Dragon is going to take a while to take down that Mortar. The Mortar will take down the tower. Silly to even play the Baby Dragon on top of the Mortar because you know it's not going to take it down. He's going to get a counter push with it though, but now he's pushing with his Hog behind the Ice Golem up the opposite lane, completely dominating this battle right here, guys. Really doing a beautiful job. The opponent's probably going to switch lanes right now. That would be my guess. Goblin, get he's not switching lanes. He's going down the same lane. Maybe he wants to be able to defend a Hog push um, as his, his you know, beatdown push comes at the uh, at the tower and the mortar does lock on the tower is going to clean up some of those gobs the spear gob is beyond the tower though oh look at this clone spell right there going to get some of those pups we have the minion horde but the arrows are coming in this push is big right here guys this is a big push he's gonna have to come in here with some sort of quick hog so that he can take down that right-hand tower because the opponent is taking that tower. There's a lot of fire coming his way on the King's Tower right about now. But there comes the Hog and the Log taking down that Goblin Gang. The only defense that he had ready, the opponent. There we go. 200 extra gold for that tower. Beautifully done right there. The King's Tower was preserved. And uh, the victory is going to go to Lord Stark in this one, guys. Beautifully played. What I'm going to do right now is go back to the deck. You guys can take a look at it. And, uh, and see if you like it for yourself, if you want to copy it to your, um, to your profile so you can test it out yourself. I'm going to do that myself personally. Actually, when I do it right now, I'll do it right there. And, uh, and there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications because I come out with Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, and Brawl Stars videos every single day. You guys are going to see a lot more Clash Royale videos coming from me. Uh, news to be news to be said. I, I'm not going to say anything just yet because nothing has been confirmed. But you know, good things are coming for Clash Royale. Still going to have my Clash of Clans videos every single day for you, so you don't worry about that at all. But guys, it's been fun. I hope you enjoyed yourself as well. Let me know in the comments if you like this deck type, or if you don't. If you don't, let me know what you prefer. If you want to follow me, you could do so over on Twitter at Ecotrumi. And remember, the Bogo sale is still going on right now. For G Fuel, buy one tub, get one free. Information is in the description below with a link and how to get that. So take advantage of it right now, guys. But until next time, which will be later on today with the Clash of Clans video, be good. Take advantage of our biggest sale of the year. Buy one tub, get one free. Shop now at GFuel.com or our mobile app.